Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you installation of Android Studio on Windows machine. Also, I will be showing you how to run first Android application. So let's start the video. So guys, you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for Android Studio download. And guys, here you can see the official website. You can just click on this link. It will redirect you to this page. Here you can see it's showing me get an official ID. You need to click on this download button. And guys, you will see license and agreement page over here. Just scroll down and click on this checkbox and this button. So guys, here it's showing me some message. I'm going to click on dismiss button. And you can see here my download has been started. And guys, it is going to take time. So please wait. And guys, remember one thing here you need strong internet connection because we need lots of download. Now to install, I'm clicking on this exe. Let me minimize my browser guys. And now here I'm going to click on next button on this welcome screen. Now here choose component. It is showing me Android virtual devices. So if you want to run your Android app, your application, so you need such some devices so if you are not connecting to physical devices then you need to install virtual devices so uh, your application will be run on virtual devices so you need to click on next button by checking this install virtual devices and guys here it's showing me the installation location this is the path where your Android studio will be installed so you need to just click on this next button and guys here it will be added to start menu folder yes that is okay just click on install button so it will start uh, installing your android studio so again it will take a while so please wait for it okay guys so you can see my installation is done here it's showing me completed i have to click on this next button and now guys here it's showing me android studio has been installed on your computer and the check mark is there that is start the android studio so yes i want to start the android studio we need to click on this finish button okay guys now here you don't need to do anything just click on ok button so do not import the settings and click on ok button and here you have to select don't send so it is some uh, statistic just click on don't send so guys this is welcome screen of android studio and here you need to click on this next button and now here from the installation type we are going to select standard installation and click on next button now here it's showing me what theme so we have dark theme and light theme so I'm going to take dark theme and click on next button now this is verify setting so all the information are shown over here like your SDK information your virtual devices information all the information are shown over here so uh, uh, later on uh, your uh, SDK as well as virtual devices will be installed so just click on next button and here we have to uh, agree the licenses so three licenses are there you have to select one by one and click on accept button unless you select all you won't be getting finish button so now click on finish button guys so now it is downloading what my virtual devices so hence i'm saying you need strong connection we require installation of three things like android studio installation and then installation of virtual devices and installation of sdk okay guys so it will take a while so please wait you have to be patient while installing android studio it takes i think around half an hour for completing all the uh, installation if your internet is good uh, it could be faster before half an hour also it could be completed so guys now this is done now my installation of android virtual devices is done so here it's showing me uh, this information i need to just click on this finish button okay so guys after this it is showing me this studio welcome to android studio and here we have option for projects plugins so i'm going to take option projects and here i'm going to click on new project because i want to create a new project okay so now guys here it we have various options templates available whether you are creating for phone tablet or tv so we are creating for phone and tablet and then from here we have to select what empty activity okay and click on next button now guys here we have to provide various information such as name of the application package name so name of the application i've given first app in package i'm just providing cs corner instead of 
of example and guys this is a location where my android application will be uh, created so if you wish to change you can click on this folder icon and change and now guys here we have minimum sdk so by default it is showing me api 24 and android 7 guys here minimum sdk it is showing that mean uh, minimum you should have this much if you have greater than this also that is okay so from this drop down you can select different different api and you can select the uh, approximately supported percentage uh, like uh, what devices are supporting this api so i'm just clicking on learn more and i'm showing over here here it's showing me different android platform versions api and the percentage distribution so guys if you see the latest android so the uh, percentage is what less because less devices are supported or created on this um, uh, android platform so uh, here uh, whatever is there uh, android platform 7 i'm selecting that because it is supporting around 95.4 percentage device you can take a uh, greater than also that will be also okay so now here build configuration language by default here the language will be kotlin i'm not changing anything i'm just clicking on this finish button okay guys so now after this what it will do it will install your sdk okay so third component installation started one was android studio then virtual device now sdk and guys you can see my sdk installation done i'm going to click on this finish button okay guys so now here you can see my android studio has been started it is asking me some permission i'm going to click on this allow access and guys now here you have to wait okay so let it complete entire process then we will start building our project and writing our uh, code because otherwise what will happen you will not get your proper out some of the error will come so let it complete okay guys so my process is completed now here at left side you can see it's showing me my projects and here it's showing me my what uh, main activity dot kt file so let me first uh, explain you about the folder option the different folders which are created when you create any android application so guys here you can see we have what my app nothing but my project name so after that guys you can see we have manifest file and in manifest file we have what uh, xml file so you can just expand and see the xml nothing but your uh, application information will be there in this xml file and now guys under this java file we will be having what kt file so whatever is your logic or source code that is going to be in kt file you can create this in java also for that you have to select different option while creating your project okay so i have created separate video for that you can watch that okay guys so my android virtual devices has already been installed so we will go to this device manager and here you can see it's showing me pixel 3a api 34 extension level so this is my avd on this avd my application will be run if you are not connecting physical devices so i'm just starting this avd by clicking on this launch avd uh, in the emulator so this will not run my application it will just start my avd okay so guys here you can see my avd has been started so here it's showing me my devices which is running now we will run application on this virtual device okay i have created separate video for how to run your application uh, using what uh, physical devices your actual mobile phone also how you can connect your mobile phone and your android studio uh, through wireless so you can see that video also so guys now here uh, we have different options code split and design so code shows your coding part and split shows code as well as design design shows only design part so now here i'm just clicking on this design button so you can see here it's showing me build and refresh so uh, to uh, get the preview we have to do this option so i'm clicking on this link so again guys here you can see waiting for a build to finish so um, it will take a moment and it will uh, show your preview of whatever code is there so now guys you can see it's showing me 
greeting preview so hello android so in my code we have android uh, written there so it's showing me that so now uh, let me go to the code and let me modify code so instead of hello android i want hello cs corner so i'm just changing my code at two places so here in greeting preview i'm just putting cs corner also in on create i am putting cs corner okay now again i am going to this design and now you can see it's showing me loading so it will be refreshed and it will be shown uh, uh, over here in preview part okay so guys you can see it's showing me hello cs corner right now so now what i'll do i'll run my this code on my uh, android virtual devices so here at the top you can see it's showing me my device name that is pixel 3a api 34 so what i need to do i need to just click on this play button okay so again guys it will build and it will install this apk on your uh, virtual devices and if you connect with physical devices the apk will be installed on your um, uh, real phone okay so now uh, you can see guys i'm getting my expected output hello cs corner so this way guys you can create uh, projects in android studio and you can run on emulator so i hope guys by following my video you are able to successfully install android studio and you are able to run your first app also okay guys so um, guys if really my video has helped you then don't forget to hit on like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box and let me know whether you are actually able to follow my video or you able to install android or not and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel i create lots of video related to programming and coding and guys i am sharing my social media handler in description box you can uh, follow me there also and guys i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes freely on my telegram channel you can join that also link is in description box so thank you guys for watching my video till end see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care